In this exercise we're going to bring together what we've learned about solid modeling, extrusions and working planes and we're going to create our engineering bracket. This is the same bracket we've looked at in several other exercises. This time we're going to create the entire bracket in 3D. I'd like you to start by creating a brand new blank file. Then I'd like you to go to a right isometric and then double click on your rectangle tool to create a rectangle. This rectangle wants to be three and three quarter inches in width and in height 45 millimeters or one and three quarters. So it's 95 millimeters wide, 45 millimeters high. We're going to insert it there, not position next click, but at zero and zero. So the center dot for the box position or the origin of the rectangle, and this should put it right in the middle of our drawing. Click OK, and there it is right in the middle, and we can move our cursor directly onto it, click, and we can lift that straight up. We want to lift this up by about 6 millimeters. If you've set your numeric keypad correctly, you'll just be able to type in 6 millimeters or quarter of an inch. Enter once, enter again, and that's created the base of our bracket. Now we're going to use our split tool to cut the end off it. So it's similar to what we did in our 2D drawing. So top plan view, split tool, we're going to use that mode, click at that corner, 30 degrees, click and cut that whole end off our object. Back to an isometric view. And let's zoom in so we can see it more easily. We're going to use our smart edge. Now we've used this in one of our exercises already, but I'll go over it again. We want to snap to the offset, which is half an inch or 12 millimeters. We want to acquire the edge and use our T key to manually set, but you can turn that on if you prefer. It just means you've got to run along the edge for half a second. Click OK. So we're going to use this edge to start with, and we also need to set our automatic working plane. Get our circle tool, and then you can set your automatic working plane. Click OK. So we're just going to run along this edge here, and then Vectorworks will pick up that smart edge. You can see it now as a red dashed line running right through. And when we move away from that, we'll find our offset line. Now follow this edge along here, find those two offsets. Click. So we need a circle, which is quarter of an inch in radius, half an inch in diameter. Click. Now let's pull that down, so we click on it, we pull it down, but before we click for the last time, hold down the Alt key. So keep that down, Option key if you're on a Macintosh, keep it held down, click, and it will punch a hole in your object. So now back to this. In case I didn't already talk about it, make sure that you're touching that top edge and the entire top edge is blue. Then run along that edge, and we'll come off 12 millimeters. Run along this edge, and come off the half inch. So click, we're going to put in six millimeters, enter once, enter again, click, pull that down, alt, click, punches the hole. Same here, just make sure you've got that blue edge and then you can run along and you can run along this edge, offset, 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 click, so six millimeters or quarter of an inch, enter once, enter again, click, pull that down, Remember, keep the Alt key or the Option key held down, then click. If it fails, just delete it and we'll do it again. So run along that edge, run along this edge, click, 6 millimeters. enter once, enter again, click, pull that down, Alt, click, and there's my hole. So this is a method of automatically using Subtract Solid. If you go to this object here and you pull it up and you hold down the Alt key or the Option key, it will add it together. I'm just going to undo that because I don't really want it there. So this is a really quick way of adding and subtracting. The last thing we want to look at in our 3D modeling tool set, fillet edge, we want a constant radius of quarter of an inch or six millimeters that edge, that edge, not that top one, 
that edge and that edge. So the four vertical edges. Hit the Enter key once and it's radiused all those for you. This is really to show you how quick it can be to model in 3D. And if we used our viewports we could easily make this into a drawing. There's a great command called create multiple viewports which is on the designer workspaces. It'll make a third angle projection of this thing in no time at all.